Welcome back. So in the second episode, we are going to look at how we are going to build our first live wire component. Okay. So how live wire works uh, under the hood is that everything it creates is under components. Okay. Uh, if if it is your first time to use components, you might actually are uh, not understanding what components mean. But the uh, the the reason or the science behind components is that you have smaller pieces of code that you can reuse in many places. Let's say you built this button. Okay, let's say you built this button. Now, you can, if you want to use, reuse this button elsewhere, you have to copy the code. You have to duplicate the code. You can take the code from one place to another. You can just do that. But in the component world, if you create this button, okay, and you create it as a component, you can still use it in different other pages, okay, minus duplicating it using the same reference of that button, okay? We are going to see this in action of how to create components, and that's how LiveWire works. So if you click on Start here, they will take you to LiveWire documentation, and the first thing you are going to do is installation. So if you just go to, um, if you just go to our guide, you will see that after installing, uh, we have already done this, installing FlowByte plugin with Tailwind in the first episode. Now, in this episode, we are going to use, um, we are going to install LiveWire. So to install LiveWire, uh, you can just simply uh, go to their website and make sure you are in version 3. There are so many versions, 1 and 2, and they are different looks. If you go to version 2, you will see that it has a different look and it was in light mode okay so make sure you are on documentation at version 3 okay which is in dark mode okay so that is good and if you just see here the prerequisites i think we already have this you must have level 10 and above and or you have to have php version 8.1 or later and if you go to, uh, we would have the PHP version 8.2. So now to install Laravel, uh, we use Composer. So just simply copy this. Composer require LiveWire, um, LiveWire. So on your terminal, so I'm just going to open a new terminal here. And on this terminal, I'm just going to say Composer require LiveWire, LiveWire. Just like that. So this one is going to install um, LiveWire. As this installing, let's just be uh, talking on other things. So after you have installed LiveWire, the first task is actually creating a component. Okay. So you say LiveWire provides a convenient artisan command to generate a new component quickly, and you can use uh, PHP artisan make LiveWire, and then you can do this. Actually, it has the second one, which is PHP Artisan Live Wire Make. I think we're going to be using that one. There is this command. You can use this one. PHP Artisan Make uh, Live Wire, and then you just put the component. But then it has a, another Artisan command, which is PHP Artisan Live Wire Make, and then you put the name of the component. Okay? So in the first, we are going to build a simple uh, counter component. Okay, so the first thing to create, um, it is still uh, running here. By the way, it is still installing LiveWire 3. Let's just give it some few seconds to finish installing uh, so that we can build our first component. Okay. <clears throat> so let's just be uh, seeing what this uh, does. So if you go to the documentation, you really clearly see that when you run a, a command for creating a PHP artisan and you create a live wire component, it generates two new files in your project. In the app, it uh, creates a new folder called live wire and then it puts the name of your uh, the name of your live wire. And if you think about it, this part here replaces something like a controller. This one, if you have been using live wire, this one just like a controller. And even in the previous live wire 2, they used to create this one in HTTP folder. But right now, they are creating it in the app live wire. But this one is just like your controller. 
if you have been using live uh, Laravel. Then it creates also the bread files under resources, views, live wire, and creates this. And if you see, you can use a small counter, you can use this small data, or you can even use capital. They are the same. It will do the same thing. Okay. Let's check if it has finished. It is still going on. Installing. Okay. Let's just still uh, explore. So these two uh, files are the ones we'll be using. Okay. These two files are the ones we'll be using. This file that is created in the app uh, holds the logic, the back-end logic. And this one holds the front-end logic. So, for instance, if you want to put uh, send data to the back-end or to the database, you do everything in this file, which I told you it represents the class and, um, uh, and it extends the component and it can act as a... Uh, uh, a controller okay and then this side here it is just a view okay uh, this is just a view a blade you can see it is a blade file and we're just going to look at this logic in a second okay just going to look at that logic in a second let's just come here and I'm just going to wait for a few seconds and I'll be back when this uh, finishes the installation Okay, so it has finished the installation, and as you can see here, so we have installed uh, completely the live wire. So you can see it has done all this. It has installed, and they tell you are using version three for live wire, and everything looks good. Okay, so after you have uh, installed the live wire, the first thing you are going to do is creating a component, and we can create a component using uh, PHP artisan. Live wire, so you can just you now use the live wire because we installed live wire. So page you add the live wire and you can say make live wire make, and then you can put the name of the uh, the the name of the component you want to create. Just say counter, just something like this. Okay, so in this uh, counter, I'm just creating this. This is the command for creating a new component. If I press enter, you will see it will tell you what it has done exactly. Okay, so you see it created a class. That is the first thing I told you. So it created a class in the app live wire counter and it also created a view in the live wire. And if you can see in the live wire counter in the resources. Okay, so those are the two files it created. So let's just go and see them. So the first file, let me close all these ones to avoid the confusion. So if you go and check in the in the first file we can check is in the app. So if you check in the app and in the app under uh, if you see app, then live wire, then we have this counter. So this one is you can even see it looks like um it looks like the <coughs> it looks like the uh, the controller and this is where we are going to be doing things that concern backend even functions and what kind of stuff we'll be doing them here and if you see it has only one function that is there by default which is render okay and this is rendering the component which is inside live wire and they say dot counter and this is located in resources and in resources it created in views it created something um it created a new folder called live wire and then it has the counter dot blade and it has nothing here i'm just going to simply put there uh two things i'm just going to put like there h2 and i'm just going to see uh maybe counter and then down here i'm just going to put a button okay and this button i'm just going to see uh, maybe increment since it's going to be the counter okay i'm just as simple as that so if now we want to view if you go back to our live wire on 8 port 8000 we don't have uh, the component seen Okay, so how we have seen how to create the component, but then how do we render this component so that we can see it in the browser? So there are two ways 
uh, how to use this component or how to connect this component so in our welcome blade okay i'm just going to change this into flex and i'm just going to say flex call so that we have them in a column i'm just going to sort of give gap of maybe eight okay between this and the whatever i'm going to put here so if you want to put the live wire component or you want to render the live wire component you can use the directive of at live so you say at live so you can say at live wire and then you can pass in the name of the component and in this case the name of the component is uh, the counter okay so you can just see uh, counter i don't know if we should do live wire dot counter but you just see so okay so you can see on the screen we have the counter and we have the increment and this is as simple as how you just connect into this one so there is another way of doing it okay you can just use live wire just like this and then you can now put live wire and then you can put counter just like that and you can close and this also can do the same thing okay you can see it has duplicated this so i'm just going to stick to the first one um though if you have been in react you may think you want to use this one i find this one easy to use but you can stick to this one any you want is your choice you can use this first method or this method it will do exactly the same let me stick to this first one okay so i just need uh, a button some two buttons one to increment and one to decrement so if i just go back to the counter i'm just going to make this uh, file a flex so class i'm just say flex okay and let me just say gap of maybe four okay and i'm just also going to give items center so i'm just going to see here items center okay just like that now on this side i want to put let's see um this first one let's say we have the decrement and then increment so i'm just going to say here decrement okay and then increment and then on this counter here we can just see uh maybe one okay so let's just first check now how it looks like so they are they must be side by side let's make this button look nice and now you can simply come to uh this flow byte and you can just say simply say button okay you don't need to write all those classes on your button you can simply just come here and we can simply grab a single uh like a default button just like this like this one okay you can then i'm just going to come here just grab this okay Control c just come back here i'm just going to replace these two buttons this one i'm just going to see uh decrement okay and then this second one you can just say simply uh, also paste here and you can say increment okay increment just like that and you can change everything to instead of blue you can just simply just control d d d d d uh not to also interfere the first one i just want to change this one to purple maybe so i just going to do this um and then just change this to purple just like that uh maybe let's see how they look like right now so if you just come back here i should have two buttons one for increment one for decrement okay so we have these two two buttons they are not doing anything okay you can just also increase the paddings if you think they are small which is very easy to change just come here where they have padding y you can make it just simply uh maybe three first of all and you could also do it at once i could just say py 
and I say control F, I can find wherever it is and I can change it at once. Okay, I can just see I want to replace it with so control H, PY, maybe let's say four. Okay, and if you just go back here, you find that this one has increased. And I don't think we need four, we could just simply replace it with so you just find here P4. We can find the PY4 and let's uh, uh, replace it with 3. Okay. As simple as that. Okay. I think 3 is okay. And then for this one, I can increase. I can just go ahead and increase the here. Let me give a class. Okay. I'm just going to say text, maybe 3 Excel. And they just say font board. Okay. As simple as that. So this is going to increase this one. And now one is being seen very well. Okay. Now, I think here instead of uh, welcome, let's put the, the counter up. Okay. We can just go ahead and say the counter up. And we can just even just remove this from here. And let me put it inside this. Okay, just leave it here. Anyways, <clears throat> let me just say welcome to um, our counter app. So this is going to be our counter app. So the front end of the our application is done. Okay, the front end of application is done. I can just go ahead and increase the gap. Or I can just simply also put some margin bottom here, like six. As simple as that. So we have here the uh, the counter app. The only thing I want to do now is adding this. When I click it, uh, it increments this value. And if I click this one, it decrement. Uh, this one for decrementing and this one for incrementing. Okay. So the first thing you are going to learn with LiveWire is first of all how to add um, like clicks. How do you add events? Okay. Like on click and as we said live wire represents javascript okay uh it represents uh, ajax or it replaces ajax so by nature it is javascript and it can listen to events like clicks hover and what kind of stuff so now if you want to add a a click here the first thing you are going to do is we can just go to the app here okay so for instance we have to uh, two buttons, one for the increment, another one for the decrement. So you're just going to create two functions. As we normally do in JavaScript, you can create two functions, one for increment and another one for decrement. So I'm just going to say here public, uh, public function. Okay. And this I'm just going to say increment, increment, just like that. And then I can just go into run and I can see there is a spelling check. I don't know how do they write increment guys okay does increment have double e that would be weird right increment okay just stay with that um so whatever just do we just see here for instance the dd uh button clicked you just see a button clicked so i've created here a function and this is really similar the the, the same way we do uh, sorry, the same way we do in JavaScript. Okay, uh, I can create a function and I can just say maybe dd. This is just like for dumping the values in the browser, and and we can now get this function and we bind it to this button. Okay, so how do I bind like this increment? Let me first copy its name, Ctrl C. Let's bind it to this button that says increment. So we have a button of increment, which is here. So on this button, we can just come here and we'll add wire. Okay. Now, wire has a lot of things you can wire a lot. One we want to do right now is click. Okay. So we can have wire click. And then you say equals. And then you pass in the name of the function you want to run. And this is normally the way we do it on JavaScript. We say like on click in, in, in React, we say on click and then we pass in the name of the function we want to run. Okay. 
even in pure JavaScript, we say on click and then we pass in the name of the function. And this is the same thing we are doing it with live wire. Okay, so when you say wire click and you pass this function, this function is expected to be inside this site here. Okay, so let's just go and see if anything is going to happen. Okay, so let me just click on increment. If I click there, this C, and it says button clicked. Okay, and it's showing you it is running up live wire counter on line 10. Now, to show you that this is JavaScript that is running behind, sorry, so that this is JavaScript is running behind. So before I click this button, I want to show you in, uh, I want to show you here in the console. So let me just go to, um, want to go on what? On network. So on the network tab, make sure you are on the fetch. Okay, on here on the fetch, let's click this button. So when you click this button, it is going to send an Ajax request code update. Okay, it sends this uh, request uh, code update and they are showing given the details and you can see that the initiator, uh, sorry, you are, you are seeing that the initiator of this is this file. Okay, uh, let me not be pointing on it. But you can see that the initiator here is the livewire.js. So this is really like JavaScript built in inside the Laravel. Okay. Whenever you click it, it sends an Ajax request. Okay. And this is why we want Livewire. And if you see, it does not reload the page because it is sending this behind the scenes. And that's why we want um, why we want this Livewire. Okay. So now one thing we can also do is creating variables. So if you create a variable and you want to pass it in inside, okay, one thing you can do is you can just come here and you create a variable and you can start with the keyword public dollar and you can say count, okay, and we can initialize it at zero, just like this, public count is equal to zero. If you want it to start at 1, you can just say 1. Whatever you want, you can just say public count is equal to 1. Okay? Now, if you want to uh, to get this onto your UI, okay, you can pass this data now inside this component. Okay? For instance, you can just come here and you put comma. Okay? You can just come and put comma. And then you can put as an array. And then inside this array, you can just see, I want to pass count. And this count, I want it to be as dollar count. Okay? So you pass in the data simply like that. And an undefined variable. Just simply pass in. Uh, uh, wait a second. So we have this dollar uh, count. Maybe do we use this? So you can just use uh, this. Maybe uh, something like this. This count. So you are like uh, the count. Uh, you are trying to put this value you have here. You are putting it here and you are passing it down. And by the way, you can see uh, this is also just simply done very well here in the one they did. Okay. And um, there is no need, actually, let me refresh, okay, there is uh, no need, even if you don't pass like this, by the way, we can just get it like this, let me just go to our application, and down here, um, you can just see here is dollar count, so I could just come here and I do this, okay, and I see dollar uh, count just like that and if you see here uh, it is still showing one let me just go to this count and I make it zero okay let me make it zero and let's see uh, let's refresh and you see it is zero right now okay it is zero now it is just 
if we remove this let me first remove this data here just like that and let me refresh so you can see it is still actually working okay so all the values you define here uh in the back end here they are in sync okay this uh anything you define here publicly here so long as it is public okay if you just define it as a public that means it is actually accessible in the counter here okay so that is good we are having uh now this zero coming from the back end so what you want is to manipulate it when we click for instance we have here that uh we already binded a, a click or we have already wired a click on this increment button so what you want if someone clicks this button it should go and increment uh this or change this value so we could just see in this function here that it should get this so you can just say this this is the way you can actually access this count okay so when it does this we want it to add okay so you can just say this count plus plus okay it this should be just enough so now let us refresh and now if i click this you can see it changes to one keep on clicking two three four just like that and the good thing with this it is not actually refreshing the page okay it is just doing it as we saw it is sending an ajax request okay so now let's just also do the same thing for the decrement so i'm just going to come here and do duplicate this and rename this to decrement okay and then here we can just say minus minus as simple as that so we have our two functions now we have to bind this also on the counter so just come here where we have this decrement okay and then we can also put wire okay and then you see wire click okay just see wire click and then this is equal to decrement just like this okay so now when we go on a click so you can see it has refreshed so we just see first increase it okay can increase it maybe to 10 okay they just decrement so you can see now it is nine just like that okay so you can just even go and work on the minus logic if you want it to stop on zero you can come and put the if statements uh in here and do that logic i'm not going to do it so this was showing you uh we have built the counter up using a uh, live wire and this has taught us two things okay there are a number of things you can use first of all we have seen how you can easily use the flow byte components simply come here and search whatever you want and then you have a nice ui in seconds the second thing you can do uh, we have seen is how to add an event like a click on a button and then how we can also connect a function from the back end this side okay you can connect your back end this function here how you can create a function and you wire it on your front end this side and another thing we have also seen is how to create a component plus how to connect this component into your app thank you so much see you in the next episode